Hi, welcome to Helicopter Trainer Videos. In this video we're going to look at piston or internal combustion engines. Piston engines or internal combustion engines or reciprocating engines, uh, they work in the same way. They involve uh, the idea of bringing a fuel-air mixture into a uh, enclosed place and igniting that mixture to create uh, movement of a piston which is then transferred to a crankshaft and creates power. So here we can see an animation. This is a side view uh, of an engine and we have the four parts of a four-stroke cycle. So we first of all have induction, the pistons moving down uh, and the inlet valve is opened and a fuel-air mixture is sucked into that cylinder. Then the piston head comes back up and compresses that mixture and the compression makes this uh, more flammable and then at the top end when it's compressed as much as it can be a spark is induced into it as the ignition phase and the fuel is burnt and as the fuel burns the gases expand and that pushes that cylinder down that's kind of the power stroke and then uh, the, the piston then comes back up and the exhaust valve opens and it lets the exhaust gases come out and then the cycles repeated and in most engines there could be two or four or more of these working in unison all on the same um, on the same shaft so as one is blowing gas out another one is sucking fuel in and another one is in the compressing phase and another one is igniting so they they kind of all work together in harmony to power each other and keep the process going and in the R22 we have a uh, lycoming four cylinder so we have four of these cylinders and they're horizontally opposed which means they're laid out flat two on each side uh, and uh, that's the power source for the R22 Okay, so we're looking at the right side of an R22 Beta 2, and uh, we're just going to talk about the engine quickly. So you can see it's a Lycoming engine, it's a 320, O320 J2A. Um, what the O stands for is composed, because you've got two cylinders here, and you have two cylinders on the other side, and they're horizontally opposed, coming in like that. Most car engines are in line, so... This helicopter is a kind of flat engine with two cylinders one side, two cylinders the other. As you can see the covers here. Here we have the inlet manifolds. This is where the fuel-air mixture is going to come in. Here we have the exhaust manifolds. You see that feeds into the exhaust. Um, the other parts you can see here are two of the spark plugs. There's also two on the top, so each cylinder has two spark plugs for safety and efficiency. We'll talk a bit more about the electrical system later. Um, and we've also got, can't quite see in there, but down in there is the, uh, the carburetor. And here is the, uh, the air filter box. And if we come around the back, <coughs> you can see how this engine's cooled. It's air cooled. This is a lot lighter than a water cooled engine. Most car engines are water cooled. Um, you think like a, an old VW Bug or a VW Bus, they're air-cooled, use the same sort of system. So this is drawing air into, into here and then blowing it around the top of the engine to cool the engine. For more information, check out the Robinson R22 or the R44 POH Pilot Operating Handbook. The FAA also produces the Helicopter Flying Handbook, which you can download from their website. ASA produce a Helicopter Oral Exam Guide and a Private Test Prep both of which will cover uh, systems questions to help you prepare for your private check ride uh, or your written test. And uh, there's also the Robinson R22 or R44 maintenance manual you can download from Robinson. Any thoughts, any questions, any feedback, we appreciate all those. Please send them on. See you again.